Hmm. Checking. Oh. Found them. Well, I will take this off so carefully because I don't really want to break it because I will keep it originally. Should be. Yes. Oh, right. Let's describe the box. Classic Lindbergh Classic Replica Series. The British SE5 in one 48 scale unassembled plastic kit. Written in Spanish, modelo plástico para armar, escala 1.48, or model kit in 1.48 scale. Lindbergh sticker, leader in hobbies. Lindbergh logo and the aircraft, as you see, is uh, built and painted by a professional, professional modeler, but didn't uh, place the um, rigging wires, no, mm -mm. looks so simple, and it comes with um, ground crew with this uh, tall little trolley, that's a British one, I really love it, typical uh, from Lindbergh to the sides, um, same classic logo, same cover, and uh, in Spanish, instructions in Spanish, no paint, no glue or cement. This is uh, the proof that uh, Lindbergh gave the authorization to uh, PBVSA in Venezuela to uh, make them with uh, local plastic, the PVC plastic. The Eaton number, the Eaton number is uh, 532. Little catalog on this side, the Curtis Jenny. The one I'm reviewing right now, the Sturman PT-16 and the Curtis Gofalk. Well, nothing at the back. This is all completely new. I mean, in mint condition with the original cellophane. Okay, um, the pieces are still sealed in its uh, original plastic bag. I will open it up later. The building instructions with the main cover, well, uh, looking at the aircraft, this is uh, the under view, uh, with a uh, hole for the display stand the pin. Number uh, three, uh, 532, uh, the British SE5, the meaning of um, S. E is for Scout Scout Experimental 5. Um, a, it, it should be uh, the letter A, but it is not showing up. The stickers or, or dry transfers with uh, British insignias and the letters. Nothing else. No stripes, uh, no uh, tail. Um, decoration, nothing like that, you should paint it. So, the building instructions, uh, typically, um, this is the other view for the building instruction, uh, I mean the, the main cover. Okay, uh, it is showing uh, partially the rigging, rigging wires, please use testers, paints and cement. Well, that's it, um, we don't have the the C letter, I think I have I I have uh, more letters in my uh, replacement department. Well, it's a four-blade uh, propeller that's interesting, and this uh, nice uh, gun. It's movable. You could shoot horizontally, oblique, or vertically. It's got a nice uh, mechanism. But not on this model kit, it is uh, fixed, unfortunately. Again, one exploded view with everything 
is assembling at the same time, but uh, you should do it um, by steps, just like this explanation offers, but in Spanish. Well, it's, uh, it's got uh, 53 pieces plus the sticker sheet and the measures of this aircraft laying 13.29 centimeters uh, length. The upper wingspan should be 16.5 centimeters and the height should be 6 and, uh, 6.0 for one centimeters. This aircraft uh, uh, manufactured in 1917 in uh, World War One. Um, well, that's a short story of this aircraft. Let's get uh, all the parts are assembling. Lower wing lower wing in just one solid mold I think I will show you on the pieces the display stand and the lead the sign of the display stand some details about this uh, wonderful um, engine there Hispano Suiza engine HA8B uh, this is an uh, interesting uh, nice feature of the ground crew uh, moving the aircraft with this little toe on the tail, under the tail. That's nice. Um, well, that's it about the building instructions. I described stickers or dry transfers. I think it's incomplete. Anyway, I will open this up with my scissors. Oh, partially open, no problem. But I need to open completely. Because um, big pieces are inside. Well, the spruce, original spruce, with um, a lot of pieces still attached. Well, as I've been um, explaining you on the building instructions, the wings are made in one solid mold, no halves. All the um, raised panel lines, uh, maybe I have to fix this warped wing. Uh, yes, that's necessary to, to get it straight straight position and uh, these other uh, lower wings with a lot of raised panel lines fixed um, elevators the fuselage halves with a lot of um, raised details let's check it Yes, you will see that a lot of parts in raised position. Let's check some fitting. I hope you don't think this is a flash. No, that's not a flash. That's the design of the, the tail. Maybe that's uh, the brake. Okay, let me check the fitting correctly with the little pins and holes. That's a guide. Yes, great. Nice, uh, you have to sand a little bit under the fuselage and even uh, on the headrest. So nice, yes. Yes, yes. Let's check this. Oh, the other. That's the stabilizer. With the um, ailerons fixed, not movable. That's so easy. 
this is the chair that's a uh, landing gear strut one of them this is for the little tow, tow truck or tow trolley more struts the wheels for the tow and for the aircraft uh, I mean the landing gear that propeller with four blades very nice shaped and this is the ground crew for the tow more struts this is uh, the gun machine I think it, it is uh, the machine gun all these gunshot guns oh no sorry uh, that's ubiquitous I'm not sure how to pronounce it ubiquitous please read it on the video and I will um, edit that, the 303, I think. Or the Louis Gone. Louis Gone, uh, it's movable, that's the shape for the upper wing. Um, another wheel, the radiator on the front of the fuselage or the engine cowling, uh, part of that. Uh, yes. That's the correct. Let me check. Yes, there it is. British SE5A. Okay. There is the the A is missing on the box. Um, this is the part for the display stand pin and the pilot. Typical from Lindbergh. The same molding. Let's check more of them. Huh. The panel, the instrument panel with just four um, pieces, uh, uh, gauges, I think. Uh, this is the fork leaf, uh, sorry, the cockpit floor. Anyway, that's so nice about display stand original with uh, the arm and this part for the pin and that's a transition from the display stand to the aircraft no pin I not no pin found sorry uh, maybe it is missing or didn't include it on the model again I insist I will use the um, rigging wires with uh, electric or acoustic guitar string as I explain you in my other reviews okay it is not using a lot of uh, rigging system like the Curtis Jenny but I will try my level best well that's all about this British SE 5A. Thank you very much for watching this video and let's go on to the next video. Bye bye.